Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will discuss about the construction details of a drilling machine, along with the operation of different parts, and driving mechanism that together construct a drilling machine. So, before going into the video, we need to know what a drilling machine is. A drilling machine is a machine tool that is primarily used to drill or create holes on a component or a workpiece with the help of multi-point cutting tools known as drill bits. So, a drilling machine is a machine tool designed for drilling holes in metals. It is one of the most important and versatile machine tools in a workshop. Besides drilling round holes, many other operations can also be performed on the drilling machine such as counterboring, countersinking, honing, rimming, lapping, and sanding. Now, let's look at the construction details of a drilling machine, and the operation of different parts that together construct a drilling machine. First of all, at the bottom portion is the base of the drilling machine. It carries the entire weight of the machine, and transfers the weight to the ground. The base of the drilling machine is made of cast iron, through the casting process. Since, cast iron has a high shock absorbance and wear resistance capacity, so it helps the base to absorb the vibration of the full drilling assembly during work and transfer to the ground. The base is generally bolted with the ground or in some case the base is supported by two or four legs. Above the base, there is a pillar or column. The pillar is a type of vertical column that usually rests at the center of the bed. The pillar provides support to the motor and the spindle head. This column is also made of cast iron or steel and is very rigid so that it can carry the load of the arm as well as a drill head. After that, mounted on this pillar or column there is a swivel table. Some may also call it a sliding table. The table is attached to the column and it can be rotated around the column at any position, and can have an upward and downward sliding movement along the column. There are T-slots cutted on the swivel table, and the workpiece can be mounted on the table using these slots. The swivel table can be adjusted at any position as per requirement. Now, up here at the top of the column, at one side we have a motor. Inside this motor there is a shaft which connects the motor to a stepped pulley. So, what is a stepped pulley? The stepped pulley usually has 3 to 5 grooves with gradually increasing diameter from smaller to larger. Stepped pulleys are used to increase or decrease the speed of the rotation of the motor without having to take the pulley off and replace it with another. So, this stepped pulley is connected to the motor through this shaft. Now, on the other side we have the spindle arrangement. This is the spindle head or the spindle box and the spindle is fixed inside this spindle head. The spindle is also connected to a stepped pulley above it through a shaft. This stepped pulley is the same as the stepped pulley connected to the motor, but it is mounted in reverse or opposite direction to the other stepped pulley. For example, if this pulley is mounted facing downwards, then the other pulley will be mounted facing upwards. These two stepped pulleys are used to regulate and maintain the velocity ratio and adjust the speed and motion by increasing or decreasing the speed according to requirements during operation. After that, connected to the bottom of the spindle, there is a chuck. The basic function of the chuck is to hold the cutting tool firmly. Usually, it holds the drill jig, and the drill bit or the cutter is mounted on the drill jig. But, in some operations the drill bit or the cutting tool can be directly mounted on the chuck without drill jig. This depends on operation requirements whether to use a drill jig or to mount the cutting tool directly to the chuck. Now, a keyhole is also provided to loosen and tighten the chuck to change the drill jigs. The drill chucks are generally self-centering. In a drill machine, we use three-jaw chuck, and it is made of special alloy steel, so, the basic function of the chuck is to hold the cutting tool firmly. Now, the drill bit is mounted on the chuck. The drill bit is a multi-point cutting tool that is used to create a hole in the workpiece. So, a drill bit is a major part of this machine and is used to remove the material in the form of holes from the surface of the workpiece while revolving. There are T-slots cutted on the swivel table over here. Using these T-slots any machine vice or workpiece holding device can be mounted firmly on the swivel table. Up over here, there is a drill feed handle or a hand wheel. By rotating hand wheel, the spindle moves up and down in the vertical direction in order to give the necessary amount of feed to the work. Here, the rotational motion is converted into linear motion by means of a rack and pinion mechanism. 
We will discuss the full working mechanism in a few minutes, but let's finish knowing the construction details first. Now, a V-belt is placed between the stepped pulleys. We use a V-belt here to connect between the stepped pulleys to drive the power transmission from one pulley to another, so, why use V-belt instead of a flat belt? The V-belts have V-shaped grooves cutted on their surface of contact with the pulley, these V-shaped grooves help the V-belt to sit firmly on the pulley, without slipping or sliding away from the pulleys during rotation at high speed, overcoming the sliding or slipping away problem with flat belts. So, a V-belt is used here because it is more firm and efficient in transferring motion between the stepped pulleys than using flat belt. So, these were the main parts that together construct a drilling machine, now, let's look into how the parts function for conducting the drilling operation in a drilling machine. First of all, here we have the swivel table that can move upwards and downwards, or rotate sidewise along this pillar or column. There are T-slots cutted on the surface of this swivel table. The machine vise or work holding device is mounted on the swivel table using these T-slots to lock the machine vise to the table firmly. Now the swivel table is adjusted by moving upwards or downwards or rotating sidewise along with the machine vise and the workpiece mounted on it. When the workpiece has reached the proper working height or position, the swivel table is locked at that position using this locking lever. Now, we turn on the switch of the motor and the motor starts rotating. The shaft connected to the motor also starts rotating along with the motor. This stepped pulley is connected to the shaft, again the other stepped pulley is also connected to this stepped pulley through this V-belt. So, when the motor rotates the shaft, the shaft in turn rotates the stepped pulley connected to it. When this stepped pulley starts rotating, it in turns rotates the V-belt attached to it. The rotation of the V-belt in turn rotates the other stepped pulley connected to it. Now, this stepped pulley is connected to the spindle. The spindle is again connected to the chuck, and the chuck is connected to the drill bit or cutting tool. So, when this stepped pulley starts rotating, the spindle along with the chuck and the drill bit also starts rotating with this stepped pulley. Now, with help of this hand wheel, we will move this revolving spindle upwards and downwards along with the chuck and drill bit and provide the required feed on the workpiece. When the drill bit or the multi-point cutting tool revolving at required speed enters the static workpiece placed on the table, the desired hole is created on the workpiece. So, this is how the drilling operation takes place. Now, let's look at the internal rack and pinion driving mechanism that is used to move the spindle and chuck with cutter upwards and downwards, when this hand wheel is rotated. So, the driving mechanism is constituted of the rack, the chuck is connected to the rack, and finally there is a drill bit mounted on the chuck. Connected to this rack, we have a pinion, there are teeth scutted on the outer diameter of the pinion, the rack also consists of teeth cut on the surface, the rack and the pinion are meshed together using these teeth. The hand wheel is attached on this pinion. Now, when we rotate the hand wheel clockwise or anticlockwise, the pinion attached to it also rotates with the hand wheel, and with the rotational motion of the pinion, the rack mesh to it starts moving upwards or downwards along with the chuck and the drill bit, to provide the desired feed to the workpiece during operation. This how the driving mechanism of the drilling machine works. So, we have learnt the construction details of a drilling machine along with the detailed operation and driving mechanism of different parts. If this video was helpful, subscribe to Academic Game Tutorials on YouTube for more updated videos. Thank you.